Hello. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how organizations with multiple locations have traditionally connected their networks together, and how the growing demand for Internet services and other advances have dramatically altered those networks. Ultimately, through the course of this evolution, networks have become more flexible and efficient. Let's see how this happened. Not long ago, organizations used dedicated high-speed lines to send data between their HQ and their branches in various cities around the world. As the leased line was not shared with other customers, they were satisfied that their data moving from branch to branch was safe. This was fine when there were only a few branches, but when the number of branches grew, it became apparent that the cost and time to stand up new branches was huge. It just wasn't scalable. MPLS, or Multi-Protocol Label Switching, had the answer to these growing pains. MPLS is a means of routing traffic within a network as data travels from one network node to another. Unlike a traditional network, the data packets are assigned a label and each label is associated with a predetermined path through the network. Labeling packets allowed organizations greater control to assign different priorities to different data flows. What's more, MPLS generally offered excellent quality of service when it came to avoiding packet loss and keeping business critical traffic flowing. And MPLS was more scalable because the organization did not need dedicated physical lines along the entire path and could instead share these lines with other organizations. In this architecture, the data center was the only conduit to the Internet because most business critical applications were hosted in the data center. This also meant that our next generation firewalls, or NGFWs were concentrated at this location. This architecture, from a network security perspective, was pretty straightforward. However, as the demand for Internet access from the branches ballooned, that single line from the data center to the Internet became congested, causing latency. Customers were increasingly demanding bandwidth hogging multimedia content, such as YouTube and FaceTime. But MPLS connections were not able to keep up. Also, from a security perspective, the MPLS network had no built-in data protection, and the provisioning of new branches was comparatively slow and expensive. Moreover, as cloud services came online, businesses didn't have to invest vast amounts of money standing up costly servers and data centers only to see them underutilized. Now they could host their business-critical applications in the public cloud or rent software as a service, SaaS. But this shift to the cloud only made the problem of latency worse. These pains gave rise to a new solution, SD-WAN, or Software to Find Wide Area Network. SD-WAN is able to address growing latency and cost by using cheaper but broader bandwidth links. This architecture allows branches to directly connect to the Internet, which avoids the bottleneck in the MPLS model. Like MPLS, SD-WAN can prioritize business-critical traffic, but unlike MPLS, network management is simplified by zero-touch provisioning and centralized control. Also, in contrast to MPLS, SD-WAN provides enriched security, which includes end-to-end -end encryption, including over the Internet, and all devices are authenticated and can be trusted. This sounds pretty good, and it is pretty good when compared to MPLS. However, like anything, there is an Achilles heel. Now that your branches have a direct access to the Internet, they are now exposed to malware and other advanced threats. In order to address this threat, 
NGFWs have to be installed at each internet point of access. Your organization may have dozens of such points of access, resulting in escalating management complexity. Still, the greatest weakness of SD-WAN is that there is no inherent defense against advanced threats, which you can be sure a bad actor will exploit. Encryption is great. It keeps data private, but it also conceals viruses that can bypass your antivirus software. And even if your AV is able to decrypt and scan the data, it is only detecting known malware. Unknown malware can slip past your defenses. So, while we've largely solved the latency problem, network security is becoming increasingly complex and is still susceptible to advanced attacks. Thankfully, there is a solution to this problem. It's the FortiGate NGFW. This single offering provides best-of-breed SD-WAN and best-of-breed NGFW security. This includes application control, URL filtering, antivirus, intrusion prevention system, IPS, integration with sandboxing, and SSL inspection. These elements can defeat the most advanced threats and keep your network and your organization's reputation safe. So, what have we learned? We have seen how the network with multiple branches has evolved over time, and we've explored why this has happened. We have learned how each succeeding technology has solved the problems of its predecessor. Most importantly, we have learned the advantages and weaknesses of SD-WAN. Thank you for your time, and please remember to take the quiz that follows this lesson.